start talk about chapter one introduction of cadastre survey there will be there will be 11 chapters i will talk first introduction then second chapter parcel and boundary third components of uh, cadastre then fourth technical requirement for cadastre survey and cadastre survey method and another will be cadastre survey procedure and workflow then i will talk about land registration process then updating and archiving cadastral document and then i will talk about land information system and cadastral system of nepal all together it will be around 20 hours course so without any delay let's talk about introduction to cadastre survey and last but not the least international practice and these are the references yes, which I use to prepare this slide and this course let's begin with this these are the in enabling objectives historical background development of cadastre survey concept of cadastre and cadastre survey and what are the types of cadastre and uh, different types different uh, form of cadastre like analog and digital cadastre and why we need this cadastre that will be talk in this particular chapter one introduction to cadastre survey let's begin firstly historical background according to the world we can see that early in Asperian Babylon and Egypt where land transaction witness and proof of ownership was written in a deed in a royal repository as early as 3000 BC this is according to Larson 1991 similarly if we can find uh, Roman had carried survey works on their control land in the year 380 for the basis for fiscal record and taxation purpose and next in China we can find uh, in 780 taxation system was based on cop yields and land survey records another was in India Raja and Maharaja order to survey for a revenue purpose around 1000 AD that was also followed in the Europe by the King Gutsov in Sweden who ordered all taxable land to survey and tax it in 1540 AD. Possibly the most renowned of the early fiscal cadastry was Domesday Book established in England in 1086. These books include land use types, parcel unique identifier but it is only a repository record tabulated form not it it does not include cadastre map or plans but it was a quite remarking uh, work remarkable work because it has ownership na name and it was bounded its boundary was fixed with markers and that uh, markers are usually in uh, early 3000 BC uh, Egyptian also used to mark their land agricultural land which was situated uh, near the river of Nile because it was situated near the river because it was easy to irrigate a land and they every year it was submerged due to high flood and they were re-established from the permanent marker which are which were established away from the uh, flood zone and with that reference they again re-established the marker for the land and these are done especially for the purpose of taxation and revenue 
a land survey at the first time it was conducted in Africa in 1657 AD. Use the river named Lisbeck River as one boundary and poles are marked to the other boundary which are tried to connect it as straight as possible between the poles and the survey of a piece of land on the bank of Lisbeck were done to transfer this land to a release servant of Dutch East India Company. Ordnance survey were first conducted in 1700 mainly for establishment of military roads. This survey means using the equipment of military and by the military they did the survey for to record lands as well as road and different other infrastructure. The year 1785 it is saw the establishment of the public land survey system after the United States received international recognition since from world and from there a public land survey system established. Early cadastre was developed under the order of Napoleon and in uh, France in 1807. We can found that the evidence of 1799 AD Napoleon Bonaparte ordered his men to record a land by providing uh, that land use type, ownership, partial, unique parcel identifier and even they are done in a control grid seat. They established a control point by the triangulation method and this was one of the modern which was followed by the other European countries also. Early chemistry were graphical. The year 1813 AD saw a cultivar were land being added to such survey so that tax could be imposed on the landowner. Graphical survey were to persist for 200 century until 1857 when the use of therolite and recording of the numerical data on diagram were made compulsory. With the use of therolite from the middle of, of 19th century, people have to compulsory record their land and also they have to if they sell or buy they should survey and register it and properties were surveyed and that ownership was recorded in a public register this is the historical background of the world overall and nowadays we can see that uh, public as well as private pro uh, both the party provide uh, this record of land and some of the public are Nepal, Bangladesh and, uh, and the private are Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, private convention work to provide the ownership uh, status to the public and uh, now we will like to move on to the historical background of Nepal in order to get history. Around 1300 years ago, 13th century, Gao Ponsali means the territory boundary of the local community. Land were recorded and organized for the land taxation purpose during the Lichibi period. And in those days, land taxation was the prime source to, to run the state activities and cadastral survey was basically in the form of description of land. They were written form such as Shrestha or Likhat or Deed. In the year 14th to 18th century, uh, public servants were granted it a land as a annual remuneration which and the and the Jastiti Molla uh, give the name to the Chetrakar Chetrakar to, to those who measure and make scales of cultivated land and who measure and scales the house is called Tachekar and uh, Ramsar 
gives the unit of land uh, which is defined as hala pate kute kudalo and a special caste was uh, given name dongol and uh, those who perform this survey are called dongol survey this special caste is 1930 bs it was started in and similarly in 1952 bir samsher started sarpat napi which is also called chain survey in the in kaveri planchok and sindhu palchok and also there is a unit of measurement for land is ropani ana poisa dam in valley muri pathi in hilly region and biga kotha in tarai region this during the period of rana rule they find the essence of caste man is needed for land administration but they have not done anything although systematic cadastre were commenced only after the prolongation of land reform in in 2020 bs or 1964 ad the history of land recording system is very old in nepal but in the year 1963 ad the land measurement act and survey was formed and the, it was implemented in the year 2020 bs and from 2021 bs land cadastral land survey cadastral survey was systematically launched in nepal nepalese army returned from first world war started compass survey established compass school renamed later at nepal government survey goswara 19 and these are the milestones which we can we we never forget so first of all i would like to tell uh, 1980 first plane table survey was held by military personnel colonel go colonel padul basnet and survey circle was established which is used to identify the survey and mapping areas and establishment of survey department under the ministry of finance in the year 2014 bs thank you very much